Well, hello there. That's better. Let's copy and paste that and put it over here. Close that and start from the beginning. And I gotta be careful which window I'm <laughs> I've got on. Hello everybody. Um welcome to the live stream. Another 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 week, another piece of music to be written. Music using the word term very lightly. Hello Ashley. Hello, hello. Um filing. Ugh. Yes, file management. Yes, I've had to do some of that too. I saw your post on Facebook. That is a mighty big hard drive you've got there. So I've got to be happy with that. Um, I've got, I don't know how much I've got on this computer. It's not that big. I think I've got four terabytes on my hard drive on this one. And it's not quite full, but I do have a two terabyte um, external SSD and that got full and so I had to move some stuff around so I wanted all my external virtual instrument libraries all on my external two terabyte hard drive I had to move some out so I moved all of Spitfires out so Spitfire libraries are on my internal hard drive which is, again is an SSD so it's all fast and works well and everything but that's anyway all good um, hello, Simon Rigby. Welcome. Yay. You can, you can put a, a face to a name now too. Um, Simon is, uh, for those watching the replay or those live who don't know, Simon is from um, a regular member and moderator of the QTube. So it is quite appropriate that we're working on a Q from the QTube and if you don't know what the QTube is see I'll, I'll have to change and I'll have to go all personal on you now oh this is the sun from last week we don't want that do we let's let's get rid of that we want there we go there's our usual setup that's much better um so uh for those who don't know uh the QTube uh link is in the clicky bits in the description below um check out the website of the QTube for composers who want more experience, for those who are learning composing and want to give it a try, or anyone just for fun, that's me doing it for fun, mainly at the moment, but it might become a professional. I do actually know someone who has uh, starred in and produced a short film that won many, many, many awards at an in many international film festivals a couple of years ago, uh, a local here where I live in Perth and I know him and his family and he may be interested in uh, creating uh, future short films, uh, short films in the future and I said look hey I'm, I'm learning this stuff if you want someone to compose and I just live around the corner and we can we already know each other um, and I actually acted with him on, a, on stage in a musical couple of years ago so uh, that's why I sort of thought hey this this scoring stuff and competition stuff and looking at music with film and stuff I could do that why not give it a go but the QTube gives you lots of different clips to practice with they're free oh, this video I'm not sponsored by them I just like their stuff lots of good things um, so with that um, they have lots of film clips and you can join for free and you can get lots of film clips for free. Lower quality, if you want something more, you can join their Patreon. Very small amount per month, like a couple of bucks a month, 
okay, I'm talking very Aussie there, aren't I? Um, it's like the equivalent of two pounds a month, one pound a month. Simon, you know all the details. Um, not very much, and there's different tiers. You can pay more, and you get more. So I'm the I'm in the middle one, I think, uh, as a, on their Patreon. So I get the actual Q sheets as well. So it's um, uh, not Q sheets. It's called yes. Um, with all the bits, see, I'm getting really technical now. The bits that tell you which bits to put which bits of music for which bits in the film. I'm a true professional, aren't I? Let's go back to the music. So let's start by saying g'day to Ashley. Hey, Jen, for joining us. And also g'day to Simon. Welcome. Um, so, yes, QTube. Links in the description. Check out the website. Have a look. If you're interested, have a go. I think it's, um, I don't know whether my music career will go in that direction or not. Spotting sheet, thank you. Spotting sheet. <gasps> Got to say that correctly. Spotting sheet. Um, thank you, Simon. Uh, so, yes, uh, I may or may not get there professionally, but, gee, it's fun having a go. And I'm all about learning and education and anything I can do to support those who want to learn and grow and become better within their career and, and field of interest, I'm all in favour. And uh, I think it's an amazing resource that um, I think for past composers didn't exist and, and they would have had to have gone out and shot things themselves or or something or other, and I, I think I love the challenge. I love the challenge of thinking outside the box and how can I come up with something to match that. So it's lots of fun. I love it. So I have another one here. There's uh, I'm going to be doing a YouTube one this week and another one next week, uh, which is um, they have a great Discord community as well, and. Um, they have like little challenges, uh, so I'm going to look at the challenge for next week's streams. So we'll see how we go. All right, back to the music. Let's have a look at this because this one has a video. Yay! As I said, it's all for film. Um, so what I'm going to do is the challenge has been put out there for those who wish to join in. I think we've got another week, another few days or a week to get this one done. Um, I think it was suggested about a week ago from Brian from the YouTube. Um, I will, uh, I think it's that one I need to unmute, but that one I keep muted and I'll mute mine that I've come up with little motifs to start off with and press all the buttons and press play from the start. Hang on. Is that the start? <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Very good. I'll get there eventually. So this is what has already been created. So we want to do something similar but different. All right. So let's have a look and a listen to what, and then we'll, we'll have a look at the video without the music. So this is a music that's already been done for it, but the challenge is to rescore it. Hmm. I press the wrong button so we'll have to start again but what I will do is I might turn that down a little bit because it's really loud I'm so sorry if I have if I have blown anyone's eardrums out because I just noticed that that is really loud so let's let's not do that so that should be I think it's that one yes the waveform is quite loud let's try that again without blasting eardrums so I'll go from the start my apologies for that Let's try it again. There's something special 
about the cinema. There we go, they've got the voiceover to you. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport like never before. With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favourite teams and players from leagues all around the world. Introducing the Vector GT6 Cruiser. Book a test drive today and treat yourself to the ride you deserve. In one of the harshest environments on Earth, these are Adelie Penguins. There's always a place for you at the cinema where you can find joy, connection, and a little bit of magic. Right, so there we go. So that's a minute and a half of absolute joy. <laughs> um, Oh, look, thanks, Simon, for um, joining. Hope you'll enjoy the replay. I'll try and get something that resembles some sort of music up. Um, I'll be back on again in just over 12 hours' time anyway, if you can join me during the daytime Australia time. Um, so that's the clip that already has music to it, and the music is very, very cool. Very, very loud, though, because we clipped for sure. Um... <sighs> So <laughs> it does become a little bit of a challenge. I'll just turn that one down as well. Um, it does become a little bit of a challenge to try, now that you've heard it, I don't want to listen to it too many times because I don't want to be influenced too much by it and I want to create something of my own. So we go and mute that. Definitely me made better. Well, there you go. So look, <laughs> we were joking on Discord in the in the YouTube group. I think it was uh, something about um, which is a great community. If you're interested in joining, you can join for free. Again, all the details in the clicky bits in the description in the um, things below. Um, but I think someone said there that basically a trailer type. Uh, clip as this one is is basically just a bit of melody drums and then brahms in between and that's what that one was so there was a lot of percussion there was a lot of bongos a lot of clapping it was very very intense for a lot of it especially if you look at um you look at the waveform here it's it's a lot it's full on flat out the whole time which is great i mean it needs to to keep it moving and that sort of thing. But, yeah, what my plan is, <laughs> is to do uh, something a little bit different than that by having, and I'll play it for you, and I don't know whether it'll fit or not, but we'll see, um, is to have a melody or a motif that, travels all the way through the clip but is different differently themed with different instruments in a slightly different way but you can tell it's the same melody so it's over and over and over again but different for sporting different for um all that sort of thing ah oh, good day jade how are you going thank you for joining um yeah another uh, Another bit of film. So, look, the first thing I usually do is I usually put markers in and I haven't done that. So one of the good things you can do in Cubase, uh, along with other doors, of course, um, I do like this one if I can remember how to do it, <laughs> is put a marker track. There we go. Markers. Oh, hang on. Is that what I want to do? Or an arranger track? Hmm. Uh, if I put an arranger track in, 
No, I just want markers. Um, let's see. If I put, yeah, I just want markers, I think. All right, so just markers. Markers. Oh, pretty pink. That'll work. Uh, let's put it there because that's where my music starts. So first up we've got the video here and then we've got the um, voiceover on that track and then we've got the original music on that track. So let's put some markers in and position marker is what I want. So I've got to add certain markers at certain points. Let's take a look at the video and see if we can come up with something. All right. So this is going to be the start of it. Ah, <laughs> let's mute my bit and let's try that again with bells on. So this is the lights up to here. This is all right. So we probably want something We leave that there that we can move this up here. So we want a marker there to say that's that's the intro. Okay, so that's the intro. Done. Then we've got And of course, this didn't come with the spotting sheet. So you've got to sort of create it and find the rhythm of the actual film clip itself. Now, if we look, if we can cheat a bit, we can actually look at the waveform of the actual um, promo music. And it doesn't really ramp up until the actual bit afterwards. So we've got a fairly long intro bit here. And we're looking at the chairs. We could probably have a little something there. Uh, and of course you want, when you're doing to film, one of the tricks is wait till the film has caught the person's eye and then you can actually start the music. Because otherwise if you start it right at the same time, it takes a while for someone to actually acknowledge what they're seeing and then put that sound to what they're seeing. So we actually, I think our brains, it'd be interesting, I should research this. I think our brains process sight faster than we do sound. I think that's right. So if that's the case, we want to mark it here to say um, front of the cinema. Just put the front of the cinema there and then we'll keep going with that and we'll see okay so we've got the title there uh, where are we? so the title starts there so we want to add a marker there and that's the title so we need to go through and do all of this Preparation work is a bit boring, but um, at least if you get through all of this, then you're pretty much set up for it. So there's lots of wordy stuff. So, and then we start with the soccer. So we could actually have something there so we'll add a marker there and that's QTube logo and then we get into the sport so we want something really Out there, probably. 
and that's the sport one. And that's fairly long actually. And then we've got the advertising one. They've got to change there. So you can end it there, but you really don't want to start until you're about there. So you want a bit of a tail on it, I think. Transitions are probably the hardest. I think that's what everyone has sort of uh, sort of indicated on forums and other YouTube videos that I've seen is the transition from one thing to another. Ah, the QTube is here. I think that's Brian. Everyone wave to Brian. Hi, the QTube. Um, yes, we're doing your clip, which is, who knows, it might be music by the end. My goal is for people's ears not to bleed. If <laughs> Set the expectation real low and we'll go from there. Um, whoops, I, I had the place. I didn't put the marker in. So... We can see there, and look, this changes as you go. But advertising, let's put a marker there, and that's advertising. Oops, in the description. See, I'm still learning Cubase. Okay. Um, <laughs> cool. Nice to virtually meet you, Brian. That's weird, isn't it? You're on the other side of the world. It's all very cool. I like this stuff. Yes, hi, Brian. Everyone wave to Brian. Hi, Brian. Um, Brian's done some amazing stuff. When I first started doing all this music stuff, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to do composing? Wouldn't it be cool? Maybe I should start something and do video clips for people. And then I found the QTube and I thought, wheel already invented, already done. What a wonderful, wonderful resource. Absolutely wonderful resource. I think it's amazing. Um, okay, so clicky bits in description below, website and stuff, do the things. Um, all right, so we're up to advertising. Let's have a look at this. And I think we okay, horror. I just did this one. If you haven't seen my videos on this clip, I had so much fun doing the horror one. Oh, it was so cool. I had the Gregorian chanting monks as well. It was amazing. I love doing this one. Never done anything like it before in my life, and I absolutely loved every second of it. Um, I have videos of that and the making of last week. It was week before. Yeah, week before. It was great. It was really cool. So, yeah, love doing this one. So I, I, I want to try not to use anything I've used before in that one again. So, but yeah, horror. Oh, loved it. It was great. Um, okay, so that's the horror bit. And I loved how they did the clip. They did a great job of the clip. Um, documentary. Well, I'm a big fan of Guy Mitchell Moore. I think he's done some amazing stuff. And in a week, couple of weeks, I've got... Um, one of his videos from a few weeks ago, he actually provides a bit of a documentary clip that you can do as well. So I might do that one as my live stream. So documentary, I might add that one there. Oh, I get to click up here. Yes, you can hear my keyboard. I'm okay with that. It's my keyboard. Documentary. Now we've got to do something else. So, <clears throat> something else. <laughs> if in doubt, just put what is there. Okay, I think with all of that, it needs to be a real build up from all of that. Much more. And then. So in, in all of this, I've sort of done my own spotting sheet per se. So I've come up with all the markers and all the, the timings. 
of the film, so I haven't chosen um, uh, a tempo or anything yet, tempo, timing, nothing yet. All I'm doing is going through and going, okay, at this bit we need to change and do something else. So this bit's words, words at end, because I think we're coming up to the end. Words at end. Right, so that's all the words. And then the logo again. Maybe we want to do something similar for the logo again. Mm, not sure. Uh, logo at end. Uh, how are we going? That's pretty much it. Oh, place four. Might want. This would probably be more of the outro at the end. Outro. Okay. Hmm. Outro plus. Because I think that should be, I think that should be one thing. That should be another. And then you've got this bit of gorgeous creativity going on right there. That's just, that's beautiful. I mean, there's words do not describe. That looks amazing. Um, I laugh every time I, I, I smile. I don't laugh. Uh, it just makes me happy. Someone's just having a wonderful time. Um, more end bits. It's very Monty Python of me. More end bits. Um, yeah. And then, of course, lots of percussion, lots of Brahms at the end. Um, look, I think that'll, that'll do for now. It's likely to change. We'll just have to see where we go with that. All right. So we have stuff with things. Now, the first thing I've come up with, um, yeah, <laughs> it does make me smile and happy. Um, right. What I've done is I went shopping again. <clears throat> I got something yesterday because here we go. Here it is. Baby Audio, and no, I'm not sponsored by them. Baby Audio have a new synthesizer out. They've never done instruments before. And I thought, why not? What could possibly go wrong? So um, I got it because why not? So it's my birthday coming up next month, so that'll do. Um, what else do you get for your birthday but virtual instruments? Spitfire Audio also having a sale. And also, if you're interested, because I only buy things on sale, um, UJAM has got a new um, U-Synth out pop. And if you're already a customer, you get it at 50% off. Check emails. Um, not sure I'll get it or not. I'm not into pop music, but you never know. Well, I'm into pop music, but I don't. No, but I'll create any. Anyway, I digress. So this has lots of presets. I'm all about presets. Um, look, for the most part, it, it's pretty good. It's it's good. It's got some good stuff. But I do have um, Massive X, Native Instruments, really good synth. Um, Arturia's Pigments, amazing synth. I think that's the best. Just saying, it's awesome, and I... Lots and lots of preset. I am a preset person, but I also have Vital, which is free, and everyone loves free stuff. So, which again is a really good synth. So, I never thought I'd be into synthesizers, but I kind of like them. They all have different, similar, but different sounds. And this one is not too bad. So, what I've done is I have done a bit of a, a motif sort of thing and I've used Halloween bass because it it inspired me at the time when I was loading this up 
last night. So this is what I've come up with so far. It could be a stroke of genius or it could be utter, utter poo-poo. Let's listen. It's simple and a bit repetitive. But I think it's enough when you put it with the film um, and, of course, we have to put it with the markers and sync it and all the rest of it and we're going to add some strings, we're going to add some different bits. But I think that bit might be good, for example, if it was... Say if we started it at the Q tube, um, at the Q tube logo, at the sport bit, for example, but was really fast. Okay, so let's we'll have to put a, a bit of imagination on right now and see if this works. It's got to be in time. We've got to look at all the tempo and everything. Right? And then it changes to advertising. So the sport version of this, I'll just move this back, the sport version of that motif would be full-on guitar, rock, all that sort of thing. Advertising would be very um, modern, maybe a bit of synth, but very reserved but the same motif and at the start we wouldn't have like for example uh at the beginning if we're listening listening snare snare english bad if we <laughs> if we listen to the original stuff it's very percussion based okay so you've got the xylophone there's something special about the cinema and it's going to be very minimal for the actual voiceover. So you've got to be mindful of voiceovers. So this is very rhythmic, very rhythmical, whereas I want mine to be different, so I want it to be very melodic. So the same melody or motif but very different. So the beginning... In, in saying that might be just a flute playing that with the voiceover at the start um, or something similar. And then when we get to, uh, let's see, the sporting one would be like more of the rock sort of thing but the same melody. And then we'd go to the advertising and that might be um, just a guitar or something. And then we go to the horror and it's the same thing but it's, it's really um, horror type things in a minor key. So the same melody in a minor key or something. And then documentary might be full on strings and very epic and grandeur and that sort of thing. And then for something at the end here, you know, we we, we can do maybe actually it, it, the visuals are keyboards. Maybe we do something very synthy with that, but the same motif. So that's my thinking. Will it work? We will find out, not by the end of this stream, possibly by the end of tomorrow's stream and definitely before Monday because I think that's when Brian wants it done by. Correct me if I'm wrong, Brian. Oh, my goodness, the things we do. But it's challenging and I love a challenge. So that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking same sort of melody. Now, the reason why I'm thinking the same sort of melody done over and over again is there's a female composer, pianist, musician. She's amazing, and I can't remember her name, but I watch her YouTube channel. She's brilliant. She And, and I've seen a few YouTube creators do it and other musicians and artists where they get that same motif and they play it in the style of horror and... um. Oh, cool. Thank you for that, Brian. Ah, good. I'm glad there's no deadline. Actually, no, give me a deadline. Otherwise, I could be here for months. Um, <laughs> I'll try and get it done by 
by, by Monday anyway, I think. Um, but I think um, they got the same piece of music. Um, ooh, random review. I like your random reviews. Ah, I never spit over dates. It's all good. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. All right, so if you're out there and you're watching this live, just get it done sooner rather than later, and that'll give me more, give me more time to perfect it. And make no, I'm kidding. Um, so no, we'll get it, get it done soon. Because I think that's the important thing that I've learned. If I, for me personally, if I don't just sit down and get it done, then six months later I'm going, oh yeah, I never finished that piece of music, or oh yeah, I just need to record the vocals for my song, and it doesn't get done. And then a year's passed and it's like, oh, yeah, hmm. So I like, I like, I like a little bit, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure with dates and things. So, yeah, if I can get this done the next few days, that's, that's my personal goal. All right. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so this musician, <laughs> see, I'll do that. It reminds me of Billy Connolly. He did this with all his comedy stuff live on stage anyway um getting the same motif or piece of music and making it different genres is definitely a, an art um yes yes thank you brian for the reminder hashtag qtube promo 23 that is in the thumbnail for this video and live stream and also for tomorrow's as well. Um, so, yeah, QTube promo 2023, put that in your YouTube video and it'll be found, easily found. Um, right, so I will repeat this. So we usually do impose a deadline on our clips for the live review and we will do so with the next clip, which will be shared very soon with the giveaway. <gasps> See, Brian is influencing my timelines for my weekly YouTube videos because <laughs> I always do whatever competition or YouTube challenge is up next. I'll have to do some in between. I've got so much music to do. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. If these were the only problems in life. Okay. So the idea, and I was going back to this other musician, of getting the one motif and making it in, I think she made it in the style of Chopin, then in, in the style of um, Tchaikovsky and then Mozart and all of the great composers and you could hear it was the same tune but it was totally different. And then a jazz version and all the, and it's like, wow, that's really, really clever, really clever. Thanks, Brian, no pressure. Yeah, that's great. Yep. Make sure the hashtag's in the title and or the description so we can find it in the YouTube search. Absolutely. It's hashtag Q2 Promo 2023. That's the bit you can't forget. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to try and do, if I get this to work, get this motif with... film to work. I think it needs to be faster than... I'm trying to work out if it's got a natural beat or not. Let's cheat, because <laughs> we can. Let's go back to the original music and see if we can, because it's heavily in percussion, it'll have a time and a beat. Aha! There's something special about the cinema. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, all right. <laughs> So let's backward engineer this. If I can press the right buttons again. Let's put the metronome on. I think it's faster than 120. Yeah, it is. I don't know what the timing is, but if I get this right, then it should be paced right. 
Paste as in P-A-C-E-D. Paste. Hmm. Let's try that. Too fast. I knew it was going to be too fast. I knew that. I knew that. There's something special about the cinema. Hey, it's close. I think we're almost there. There's something special about the cinema. Because it's that bit there. That's faster than that. I'll get there. So I think if I get the same timing right, it'll just make it a lot easier to do. The pacing will be right then. It's not quite there. I might have to fix that. There is a way to tap it in and I can't remember how to do that in Cubase because I'm still new to Cubase. Why wouldn't you do this sort of thing while you're still learning a new door? Hmm. I'll look it up. I'll Google that in between tonight's show and the morning show and um, I'll have it right. But I think that will be the way to go. Um, if you watched the, the horror one that I did a couple of weeks ago, I didn't have a click track with it I didn't put the timing in I didn't do anything I just freestyled it from scene to scene so yeah it does does sound like drums of war I'm I'm let's look at instruments then in saying that so what I've got here is I've got uh, a few different instruments that I've I've just thrown in for now because I know that I want, as I say, the same, the same um, melody in different ranges by different instruments uh, throughout the whole thing. Again, it's syncopated rhythms and bass. There's something about it, and I, I will share upcoming videos there's exciting stuff happening with the music psychology bit that I'm going to be doing in the future <laughs> lots of planning lots of work coming in with that stuff but anyway whole bass syncopation it's a whole thing about the time before we're actually born into this world and our mother's heartbeat and the sounds we hear before we're born and we're influenced for life it's amazing that's how music influences us um so that's the melody. That's one instrument. Uh, again, I've gone with, um, I had a look at a lot of the baby audio stuff with their new BA1 synth, and I've gone with um, a brassy, brassy baby, <laughs> this one's called. I'll just play this few notes on the keyboard to get a bit of a sound. That sounds really cool. And again, I'm thinking now looking at the video, that we might use that for um, towards the end here in this part when he's actually, when he, yes, it is a he, um, when this person here, I shouldn't say things like that, when this person, because I don't know them personally, when this person here is doing the synthy stuff, I think these synth sounds from Baby Audio will be very appropriate at that point um, to do, again, the same melody but with that. And there's also, um, I do like this, it comes in different colours. I mean, you know, it's got purpley pink sort of cut. That's the, okay, that was the main reason I bought it. But that's beside the point. Um, this is soft strings. Soft 
So again, very synthy, classic synthy sort of sound. Um, you heard the Halloween bass before, so I think those three will sound really cool. This one, Toy Piano, um, again, another preset. It's very subtle. I'm thinking that might be good when there's a voiceover at the beginning. I'm not sure. Not sure. Tossing that one up. Um, this or Deity is actually a preset by Venus Theory. Cameron, uh, if you know him from his YouTube channel, he's into all everything Cynthia and stuff, has some amazing videos, pretty cool stuff with mental health and stuff too, so that's really cool. Um, but this is this sounds really nice. I love the way it's working through the oscillator there. So that, that's a really cool preset as well. Yep. Thank you, Ashley. I love your suggestions. Yeah, so it's some synth bells, arpeggiated arps, all of that sort of stuff. So I've got to really go through and pick some more instruments. I mean, I think for this one, this is going to be one of my bigger pieces per se as far as the range of instruments go because it's little bits all put together. So it's going to be lots and lots of different instruments, I think. I'm trying to meld those together and, and transition from one to the other, that's going to be the challenge. Um, what else did I pick here? Ah, oh, a bit of Spitfire audio. Yes, they're having a sale at the moment. <gasps> mm, hide my purse. Um, this is one I did get on a previous uh, sale last year, I think. This is uh, Originals. Um, Again, only get anything on sale, but this is um, percussion metal hits. Which I think will be good to use at certain points um, as a percussion item. So I thought, yep, I think that'll be good to throw in there. Um, also, uh, again, another originals is Epic Choir. female voice doing some R's I think would be nice for the documentary part of it um, or maybe the advertising one I'm not sure not sure um, again Spitfire <laughs> having a sale um, this one is some risers uh, this isn't too bad so there's all different ones here so I've got to find out, go through and pick out some different ones that I can use here. So I've got to really spend some time and find something that works as that transition from one to the other. Not sure about that one yet. Um, then we've got, again, we've got... Um, Spitfire Red Cola. This is Haunting Atmos. Which I think will be maybe a good sort of pad sound for that horror part. Um, and then, look, I went to one of my favourites. I do like um, U-Jam's drums, uh, as they're known. Again, just got so many presets. Love it, love it, love it. Um, these, these are so cool. And you can have such a different range of things throughout. So I've got that in there, which is one of my favourite as far as percussion that, for me, gives me good options when I'm not a percussionist. Um, I think once I start putting things like that in there, I get more inspiration and ideas to do other things with percussion instruments. Um, but I sort of need to put that in first and see how we go. Gated synths. That's it. They are indeed called gated synths, those arpeggiator type ones. Um, damage too. Um, 
which again is brilliant for the whole percussion side of things. And you know, it might be a combination of using U Jam's drums and damage too, because there's just so many options here. I just love this. Um, and the other one that is again one of my favorites that I use in a lot of trailer type stuff is as far as the, the Brahms and that sort of thing is Sounds from Hell from Red Room Audio. Uh, got some really cool stuff. Real trailer stuff. And you do have a lot of options as far as changing the cutoffs of the envelopes. But the really good one with this one is that you can reverse it. Oops. So can actually have it reversed to then become a riser. So, you know, that's one good thing with this one. So it depends how they're going to be used. You can shorten it. You can really change these samples up a, a lot. And then I'm going to bring in um, the old, <laughs> ye old, <laughs> ye old traditional, um, yeah, the sounds from hell. Just awesome. I love the sounds from hell. They're really cool. Um, I'm going to add uh, no, add contact seven. Some things work, I don't understand. Some things work with contact or contact seven. Ah, there we go. Uh, so I want, I might, I do have the Sinner samples. orchestra but I don't know whether I want to let's try this actually oh hang on far light I could be here for days. There's something else too. Um, no, that's the wrong one. That one? No. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Analog dreams. Yes, I have many, many libraries. Many, many. Life is pretty good. That's got some good synth stuff and that was that was free at one point. Oh 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 I know I know aha I know what to add here. <laughs> Sweet vaccine. Um remove that. Let's 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 something that if you saw my latest video, which is the chilled video, I finally did some 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 visuals to go with my chilled song that I did quite a while ago but I thought it was that's a very loud car going past my house um is uh Arturia's um mm, 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 what's it called uh augmented that's it Augmented Piano Strings and Voices are amazing. So I'm going to add those. Um, I just love these. Arturia does some amazing, uh, I mean, look at all the presets. This is just nuts. <laughs> There's just like so many presets. All the presets. There are all the presets. Um, but there was Ice Piano or something that I used, which was amazing. Can't remember which one it was now. Uh, Frozen something or other or Ice or something, but 
Yeah, it's really nice. And you can make it more synthesizer or more piano. They've got some really, really good sounds. I can't find it off the top of my head, but it was just the one that as soon as I got this instrument, I basically sat here until I finished writing that piece of music. It took me all of about an hour to get it all down. It was just so inspiring. Now I can't find the preset that I used. But it was, it was gorgeous. It was one of my favourites. It'll come to me eventually. Um, it's here somewhere. But you know, it's got some really, really cool stuff. Even that, I have no idea. Let's have a look at that one, shall I? Shall we? What was that one? That was Addictive Puck. Pluck or Puck? I can't read all the way over there. It's very small. Addictive Pluck. Um, which one was the one that was marked? That one. Maybe it's just a straight piano. that one was marked at some point I believe I thought that would be a good idea but do you know what I'm gonna have addicted pluck you know why because I'm thinking that bit will do well for where's the sports bit Gaming. So there. So let's let's mute. Let's just solo that and see if that will work. I think that's the sort of thing I'm going for. It's kind of, that kind of works. I like it. It'll work. Very nice. Very nice. It's, it's all subjective. I'm taking creative license with this one, but I think, you know, it's really good when you can find instruments that inspire you. And I'm going to add the augmented strings and the augmented voices. So I think that, again, it's a huge number of presets. These are our cheerios and they're just brilliant. I love it. I do. I did. I did. There we go. I do have some liked ones. Angel and Demon. Uh, why isn't that coming up? Because I need to load it up. No, it's not going. Ah, because I. <laughs> Let's um. There we go. Oh, that's really cool. That, I'm just pressing one key with that. That's really cool. I do like that. See, that's why I favoured it before. That was one thing with baby audios, BA1. I, unless I'm missing something, I can't favourite it or, or you know, 
create ones in a list like this. I couldn't find it anyway. So there's something for you, baby audio. <laughs> use that should we go with that let's let's see if we can play around with that okay so that's augmented strings and then the other one I was going to add was augmented voices again really cool instruments that uh, I would have I would have yes yes I do have some liked and then we've got I put different colors on them no it just liked uh <laughs> here we go so these technically are voices but they really do sound more synthy and you can morph it and change it and there's a whole back end to this that is just insane to play around with <laughs> There's some arpeggio, just arpeggio stuff. Some sound more more like voices than others. Interesting. Um, synth choir. This one's supposed to be a real choir. Let's go with this. And we might use that with the epic choir up here at some point as well. Um, we'll see where we go. Look, before I go any further, file save. Um, I won't play any of this because we really haven't got much to play at this point, have we? We've got bits. I know there's some funny names, aren't there, uh, for um, presets and things. But when you think about it, there's so many of them. It's hard to be creative and come up with so many different names. Look, there you go. That's the start of where we're heading. What I might do just to go out on is um, I will go through and just show the clip as it currently is. So what we've got as the before um, and what we've been asked to uh, rescore. And I'll just go up with what Brian said earlier. He did say if you're going to join in and do it, again, the clicky bits in the description of my video down below. Check the clicky bits and do the subscribe and the likey likey stuff and all those sorts of things. If you choose to, no pressure, it's your choice. Um, my voice is going again. Uh, I do talk too much, don't I? Um, but yes, if you do join in, then hashtag QTube Promo 2023. And I would like to very much say thank you to everyone who joined me for the live stream. Uh, Ashley HM, a pleasure as always. Thank you. Uh, Simon Rigby, who joined for the first time from the QTube community. Jade Starr, my friend in Melbourne. I hope you are doing well. I'm looking forward to seeing you back online tomorrow. And um, also to Brian from the QTube, who popped in to say good day and help us out with uh, the important information of adding Hashtag the QTube promo 2023 in the title and or description. Put them in both. Can never go too far. Um, and get it done sooner rather than later. Don't take months. No. So on that happy note, look, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Yes, it is a good start. We did some spotting. Um, we've chosen some instruments. We've got a bit of a, a 
a melody or a, a motif to work from and I think we'll we'll have something shaped up in tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow for me because it's today here and after today is always tomorrow. So on that happy note, until then a bit more, I'll say goodbye to me and goodbye to you and everyone in chat. You're over there on that screen because I have two monitors. You can, uh, so you see me from there. I see me from, <clears throat> I'm going now. I think it's best if I just, I'll play the video with the, the staff and don't hear any of my staff, but the actual thing. And I'll, 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 bye. And you can watch a bit more, just stick around till the end. It, I'm just going to turn, I'm, see, I've gone, but you can still hear me. Isn't that amazing? Technology. I'm going now. I'll press, I'll press the buttons. There's something special about the cinema. Get ready to experience the thrill of the world's most popular sport like never before. With Footy 23, you'll have the chance to play as your favourite teams and players from leagues all around the world. Introducing the Vector GT6 Cruiser. Book a test drive today and treat yourself to the ride you deserve. In one of the harshest environments on Earth, these are Adelie Penguins. Always a place for you at the cinema where you can find joy, connection, and a little bit of magic. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.